Hi. So my name is Annalisa De Lorenzo. So I'm the director of And Company. And And Company is a design studio um, and a broker of creative opportunities for emerging designers. We mentor um, product designers, we produce a homewares range, we curate exhibitions, we host markets, and we also now run classes. Um, but basically, we're striving to create a community of makers, designers, and creative thinkers. Now, last month, we opened a new space in the Rocks, and Chef Chris Tay, who's a chef and owner of Black Star Pastry, came along and, um, and he catered for the event. And he gave a speech at the event because we've collaborated on a few projects before. And he said, the thing that we have in common is that we both dream first, we do it, and then we work out the logistics later. And when he said that, I thought, shit, I'm not really like that, am I? But um, his point was that that's how you make really interesting things happen. And looking back and looking forward, he, he completely nailed me. And I think that um, this uh, strategy, if you can call it that, has actually made a huge impact on the way that we run and company, for better or worse. So and company began from nothing, from the hard reality of an object designer's graduate prospects. I knew what I didn't want to do. I didn't know what I did want to do. I knew designers, product designers who were dropping out or becoming graphic designers or not doing any design whatsoever. Um, and I knew that I needed to somehow do something. So. Um, I decided to start something that would hopefully help other young designers to, um, to make it happen for themselves. And at first it was very hard to explain who we were. We'd say, you know, we're a bit like X, but X without the Y. And um, early on I was given a, um, a uh, business mentor who was not the best fit. He clearly thought that I was a really crazy dreamer um, and didn't understand. And he used to ask lots of questions like, you know, who cares, who'd do this, why would you produce locally, why will anyone want to know what you're doing? So I went out to prove him wrong. And we did a lot of research and found Coscolor, and they spoke at the last Petra Kucha, and their motto was really important for me. It was a big kick in the pants to just get out there and make it happen. Um, to, um, and so we started our company in 2009 uh, with an exhibition called Home and Company. There were 15 emerging designers and artists. We had a tiny space. 400 people came. I didn't know who most of them were, but it seemed like we were doing something right. So we did it again at Gaffer. This is at Gaffer. And we asked um, Steve Pozel, the director of Object, to come and open it for us. And he was really intrigued by the number of new designers he'd never heard of before. Um, from that opportunity, um, we were asked to come and um, curate an exhibition at Object. We were given three months to, to do it um, because somebody had pulled out. So we put together a really exciting exhibition called In Good Company that let us um, gave a really good excuse to go out and actually meet a whole lot of these designer superstars that we'd heard so much about. Um, but never had a chance or the guts to meet. Um, it was really focused on telling the background to processes and ideas. We removed the plinths and presented a feast of local design um, in and on and around the dinner table. Um, and we tried to really highlight the reality of a vibrant and interconnected community of mentors, makers, retailers that surround these designer superstars. But the highlight was definitely the dinner parties that we held in the gallery using the designer's wares. And Chris Tay was approached uh, from Black Star Pastry to cook and always up for a design challenge, he, he kind of rose to it. Um, at the end of the meal, he said, you know, I'd really love to get some local designers to work on new stuff for the cafe, but I've got no idea where I'd start. And after initially offering to um, facilitate some connections, I realised that was exactly what our company was there to do. So with a strong disclaimer regarding my own lack of experience, really, in all these things, um, we drafted a brief, did a call out, and had a posse of designers who were proposing ideas to a brief that um, was focusing on mixing the poetic with the practical, the sculptural with some kind of simplicity, an honesty of materials, and taking inspiration from the pastries themselves. And this is one of the resulting pieces that came from it. And on one level, our efforts resulted in this beautiful set of um, of of products um, that will shortly be joining our range um, by four designers, Colour and Light, Glenn Baghurst, Naomi Taplin and Sonia Scott. Um, but it also taught us lots of valuable lessons about um, the challenges and opportunities of working with local production. Um, space, access to spaces are, for prototyping is really limited and this was made really um, obvious with Sonia Scott's Sporks. Um, it was kind of lovely how many people were a part of it. So we had Vert Design who mentored and invited us, advised us on tooling. We had another designer, Oliver Smith, who helped us out with the designing of the pieces themselves. Um, and it was really lovely, but it was also really hard work. And one thing that became incredibly apparent was the fact that it felt very much like it was all about who you were in bed with. It was who you knew, where you were a tenant, where you were a student, in order to access um, facilities. Some places you can dabble in one-offs, but you can't do any production work. Um, and as a graduate, you leave state-of-the-art facilities, and there's nowhere, no spaces and no resources to work with. So there's nowhere to turn ideas into prototypes, prototypes into products, and people drop out, and they get disenchanted, and they can't afford it, and the industry and the public are missing out on really thoughtful and practical and beautiful, intelligent and useful design solutions for everyday life. Life. So after pressing 100 sporks one day, Sonia turned to me and said, why don't we open a workshop? 
And whilst we have people pouring concrete in their balconies, and it seems like a really important, useful thing to do, um, and we'd also be able to employ graduate designers to work on a production for us in-house, it would let us um, further extend this platform to allow designers to make um, new things and get it out there. It was also completely ridiculous because we had no money and no space and no resources, and we even dubbed the project Taking Over the World um, because we didn't think we could. But all of a sudden, a space was available at the Rocks pop-up, and we put in an expression of interest, and a month ago, um, we opened. Um, and we've got a space that now has a store, a gallery, a workshop space down the back, um, where anyone can come and can make with us. And there's a tool library, a design book library. We have classes that we're running. Um, but we want to do something much bigger than that. We want to open a fully-fledged professional design workshop for metal and wood and ceramics. And for the first time, we also have a fantastic precedent that we want to aspire to. This is Third Ward in New York, and they're doing it. They've got this huge setup. You should look them up online. There's not enough time to talk about them. But they've made it clear that the dream to be a powerhouse of creativity and productive, productive possibility is really, truly viable. So we're in the rocks for another four months. We need a home. We need tools. We need support. Um, and we're looking for donations and loans for anything, from a set of quick grip clamps to CNC routers to anything you might have in your garage. Um, we want people to come along and to be a part of the family, become a member, use the workshop. And if you're not a maker, come to our pie nights and share out your ideas and enthusiasm. We are little. We have big hopes, big dreams, and we're jumping in with two feet. We're working out the logistics as we go. We're driven, passionate, and determined to make it happen. But the viability of what we can do for you is dependent on you joining our family. So come and visit, create, propose some collaborations, and join us, and hopefully we'll truly take on the world. Thanks. Thanks.